Welcome on in today we're going to be going over a quick tutorial on how to use the trade replay function on trade Zella. So right now we are looking at a trade that I took today on Tesla for $112 in profit about 10% on a contract, uh, two contracts that were actually a couple weeks out in expiration. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go into trade Zella, which I'm logged into right now. Uh, this trade has been exported in via Webull, so I have now sent the file to myself from Webull, downloaded that file, uploaded it to TradeZilla, and they've done the rest. Now I'm going to go to the trade replay feature. I'm going to go to my recent trades and pick on this Tesla trade. And now we've got a chart on the screen. So what we have here is a really good view via trading view that's the chart in the background of Tesla and how it was trading. So I can customize a couple of things, which I'm going to do first. So I traded in the five minute time frame. So I'm going to go up to the top left, change that to five minutes. I'm also going to go to 30 X speed because I don't want you to wait around because this will take way longer than it needs to take. Now on the left hand side, you have some more details. So if I had our multiples to enter in, or if I had already entered in my R multiples in terms of my profit targets and stop losses, I could have done that on the previous page, or I can do that here. Uh, personally, I have not done that yet. Now, it gives you the net P&L of the trade, the ROI of the trade, the options traded, adjusted cost P&L, and then the trade duration. For me, it was eight minutes and 11 seconds. So pretty quick and easy day, right? Um, could be a clickbait title, right? Eight minutes, how I made a hundred dollars in eight minutes. What's that per hour? I right? do the math. <laughs> Some ridiculous number. So inside of this, you have setups. I have added my bear flag setup. I could add mistakes if I need to, which all of my mistakes that I have added into Tradezilla over the course of the past year plus, uh, I can add those tags if needed. And if I recognize something while I'm in the review, boom. And then I added my custom tags, which is two system, meaning that it fits and aligned with my trading system. Okay. Below that, we have our executions. Now they are dulled out because we haven't gotten to that time. But if I click on it, it'll bring me right to that time on the chart. See? So then it will have the check mark, meaning that we have gotten that far on the chart um, and we're there. Now I'm going to go back in time on this dial up here. I can move this dial to change the time of day. Now for me, the market opens at 830 because I'm on central time. That's why it's 830. So everything's adjusted properly. I'm going to click on play. And now we're going to be able to go back in time and watch how Tesla traded before I took this trade. So if I know my executions were at 902, I might want to move this along and I might want to take this timer. Let's say, let's go to like 857 to get us closer. So I can see what I was looking at. I can see the charts. I can replay and review these charts and what we had on Tesla and what I saw before I took this trade, right? So now that I've got this information in front of me, I'm like, okay, cool. I was playing kind of a bear flag, break the downside, and we can still use the features here from TradingView. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this up. So let's go use our horizontal raise Let's make these white and let's make them a bit larger. So here's my stop loss. And then here will be my entry, a below low of day. So that's what I'm looking for. Okay, now I can adjust my times or my price scale on the right hand side, zoom in on these charts. We're good to go, play this bad boy out. And now we can see that I'm entering in on the contracts. This came back on me for a second here, but then we saw the continuation to the downside shortly after and we were able to get that nice push down to low of the day. And I got my 10 plus percent on my contracts, which is exactly what I was looking for on this trade. So I'm able to replay this and I can journal, take notes, go back to the previous pages on TradeZilla to add what I need to add, but you also get time and sales. So you're gonna get essentially all of the traded prices and amounts, quantity of shares on Tesla all the way through the trade, you know, as you're watching this live, right? So watch time and sales, time and sales is moving. You're also going to get level two. So you can literally replay level two, see the size of the orders on the bid and the ask. And so it can kind of take you back and there's something to learn from when it comes to time and sales level two, right? The size of orders, what happens at some key levels, things you're noticing. 
So mark this up as you see fit. That's all for you to do. Now you also have options here to customize some things, the candlesticks, the scales, the background colors, and all that stuff if you want to. Um, to me, not a huge deal in my opinion, but you know, it's there for you. And then you can also maximize this chart, make it large, and uh, fill up your entire screen if that's something that you want to do. So escape on the computer, on your keyboard, you're getting right out of that. You also have this guy right here. You can just choose what you want to display. So I can actually add in a second chart. So I can get rid of level two if I wanted to, get rid of time and sales if I wanted to, all that stuff. But I can add a second chart. So now I can have two charts going here, which is pretty cool. So if I might want to watch Tesla on different time frames, I can do that, customize that, add indicators, all that great stuff. Let me get rid of the second chart and show you really quick. So it's just like trading view. You can go up to the add in the add indicator section. And let's say that you wanted to use uh, a VWAP or you know an EMA or whatever. Boom, click on the VWAP. Now we got the VWAP popped up. And then we can go in here and we can actually go into the settings of the indicator, change colors and whatnot, change the size of our lines. And just like that, boom, you can pretty much recreate your trading view charts on TradeZella, which is really cool. And you can watch your trades, replay them, double check your executions. Should I have entered there? Should I not have entered there? What can I do better here based off of level two time and sales? But that's how you do it. So this video was helpful. We'll leave a like on the video. We'll leave a link down below to TradeZella. If you don't have TradeZella and you're like, hey, I want to check this thing out, uh, we'll leave a link in the description box to that as well as other links and resources. But uh, this is a pretty cool feature. I've been using it a lot myself and uh, it's a great way to journal trades to learn as I'm you know, trying to figure out a you know, figure out and trying to like improve upon um, my option trading strategies, this is a big major key.